Hi boys and girls, this is Grandma Sheila, and our story today is called Prayer Heard and Answered. Well, it was a cold winter day, and the lady in our story, she was sitting in her chair and she was thinking about what she had been thinking about all night long. She had gotten old. She didn't know how that happened, but she had gotten old and she was ill now. She didn't know that this was going to be her very last illness. But then she heard her daughter coming in and she smiled sweetly at her daughter. She was a nice Christian lady. And she said to her daughter, I'm so glad you're here. I, I need you to do something for me. And her daughter smiled and said, what is it mother? And she said, well, all night long, I've been thinking about Mr. and Mrs. W. She said, I just feel like we need to bring them some food that they might be in great need. I've heard that they're very poor now. And they live in a big old tenement building. I want you to take the biggest basket I have in there and go to the supermarket. And I want you to fill it with this list of groceries and things that they might need. Well, her daughter was used to her mother's anxiousness for people as she thought of it. And she knew how much over the years her mother had done in giving to people that were poor or in need for one reason or the other. She was always there to help. And she oftentimes, just as this time, she had thought about it for some time and then decided that yes, she did need to help those people well, her daughter was used to also being the person chosen to go on these errands since her mother had gotten older. So she said, yes, mother, and she went off to get that big basket. And her mother said, come back for just a minute after you get the basket. And so she came back. And sitting on her mother's lap was a very warm winter flannel skirt. And she said, I'm thinking that maybe Mrs. W just might be cold and she might need this. I won't be needing it much longer. So her daughter folded it up and put it in the bottom of the basket. She kissed her mother goodbye and she set out on her errand. When she got to the store, she filled that basket with just as much as it would hold. She knew that's what her mother would have wanted. All things that the W's probably would need. Well, after she had gotten the food, and the supplies. She went to the district that her mother had told her. She had given her an address and she had also told her daughter that the W's, she had been told, lived in a big old tenement building now. They had once been very good workers and they'd always had plenty to take care of themselves. Well, then both Mr. and Mrs. W. 
had become sick, very sick. And you know, when you're sick for a long, long time, oftentimes the people you work for don't want to wait for you to get well. Or they think, well, now that you're sick, you may be sick all the time. So neither one of them had a job. And you all know that you wait for the paycheck to be able to buy food and other things that you need at home. Well, there was no paycheck coming now. This story is from a while ago, so I don't even know if there was Social Security then or not. But they had very little to live on. So the daughter, she got to the address and she looked at this old broken down building. And she remembered her mother telling her they lived on the third floor. Well, she had all that food to carry. And she went up the first flight of stairs to the second floor. And she went up the next flight up to the third floor. And she stood there to catch her breath. And then she looked at the doors to see which one was where the Mr. and Mrs. W lived. And she got up in front of the door and she could hear Mr. W. And he was thanking God for their food. And the daughter, she thought, see, it was just mother being anxious. They probably have plenty, but I'll do what mom wanted me to do. So when she could hear that the man had said amen, and he had thanked God so wonderfully for what they had. Well, the daughter knocked on the door and the gentleman's voice rang out, come in, it's unlocked. So the daughter went inside and there in front of her, sure enough, there sat the wife at one end of the table with nothing on her plate yet, obviously waiting for the husband to pass some food to her. But then she looked at the husband's plate, Mr. W. And in his hand, he had a knife ready to carve something. Well, when you think of carving something at a table, most people think of turkeys and chickens and, and things like that, that they're going to have for a big meal. But on Mr. W's plate was one big round apple. And he had been given thanks to God for that apple. And he was cutting it in pieces to give half of it to his wife and keeping half of it for himself. As the daughter came in with that big basket of food, there was one round of thanks after another, first to God and then to the daughter for bringing them such wonderful things. Well, the daughter quickly went in the little tiny kitchen and from that basket, she pulled out things to make a hearty lunch. Well, when the food was all cooked and ready and on the table, Mr. W and Mrs. W took turns telling the daughter all about how they used to have jobs and then when they got sick, they couldn't have the jobs anymore and there was no money and this was the last food they had left that big round apple but together they had asked God to bless them with some more food and you know God heard that prayer 
and he answered it. Well, after she had been told all those things, she very quietly started toward the door to leave. And Mrs. W said, um, just a minute, please. And she had an expectant look on her face. And the daughter looked at her. She said, what? Yes, what is it? And she, Mrs. W said, um, kind of shyly like, she said, did, did you bring the flannel skirt? And the daughter looked down in the bottom of her basket, and sure enough, there it lay. But how did this lady know that she was bringing a flannel skirt? And she took it out, and she laid it in front of the lady, and she said, Here it is, but how did you know? And the lady kind of smiled. She said, I told God about it. I told him that I needed something warm because it was so cold. And I just wondered if he had told you to bring it or if I should wait for somebody else to come to bring it to me. Boys and girls, do you know that sometimes God impresses people, Christian people, to do good things for other people? What if that Christian lady had ignored those thoughts that made her wonder if they had anything to eat and wondering if maybe she was cold and she should have this nice long flannel skirt to keep her warm. Every good aspiration comes from God, we're told. And those good thoughts or aspirations need to be followed up by the person that got them. And if God is telling you to do something today, don't disappoint God and don't disappoint the person that may need your help. Thank you, boys and girls. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.